what will the earth be without soil? What could be the importance of soil? Do the different types of soil differ from each other? Today kids, come with me and let us all explore and learn more about the soil. What is soil? Soil is the material where plants grow and which provides them with physical support, water, and nutrients. Soil covers most of the land part of the earth. You find plants, animals, houses, and other organisms on the soil. We live on the soil and it helps us in many ways. Different types of soil have different physical characteristics. Its soil type differs in colors, texture, odor, and its ability to hold water. Some soils are good for planting, while others are not. The presence of the different kinds of vegetative plants in a place is an evidence of good quality of soil in the area of locality. Sometimes a combination of soil is observed in some areas of the country. There are three different types of soil. The first one is clay. In clay, particles are tightly packed together. It can hold much water and become sticky when wet. It is made up of very fine particles of rocks. This soil can be used in making pads. The second one is loam. It is a mixture of sand and clay. It contains a large amount of decaying plants and animals. It has a fine texture. This soil can hold enough water and oxygen which are needed for plant growth. And the last one is the sand. In sand, particles are coarse and loose and it is easy to dig. This soil is not good for growing plants because it cannot hold water well. Soil is a system into which energy and matter from the sun, atmosphere, and living organisms penetrate and interact. It is a system because it is composed of many different parts. Each of the layer has a function to perform. The soil is made up of different layers and each layer has its own characteristics. The topsoil is the uppermost layer of the soil. This layer is rich with organic materials called humus and with mineral needed for plant growth. Humus comes from decaying plant and animals. The soil's dark color is an indication of the presence of the humus. Several kinds of plants can be seen growing on this layer. The subsoil is located just below the topsoil. It is composed of loosely arranged rock, sand, and clay. This layer is very rich with minerals that drain from topsoil. When the topsoil is washed out, the subsoil alone cannot support plant life. The parent rock is composed of rocks that are slowly breaking apart. It is composed of very little weathering. It does not contain necessary nutrients and water needed for plant growth. The bedrock is the lowest of the soil layers. It is made up of undisturbed large boulders and gravel. This layer contains material that are good for constructing buildings and making roads. No plant life can survive in this layer. And now kids, are you now familiar with the different types of soil and its characteristics and even the different layers and its layers characteristics? Kids, always remember, soil is important because it provides plants with physical support water and nutrients to grow. It also covers most of the land parts of the earth where plants, animals, houses, and other organisms will be found. And mostly, we live on the soil and it's helped us in many ways. To find out if you really understand the types and characteristics of soil, let's do the following activities. Prepare your pencil and paper, then answer the following correctly. And you may now start.